Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Muhammad Ali Sheh and in this tutorial we will work on the sign up button and login button. So let's start. So first we will create a new file and we will save this file in the social network folder and we will name this as signup.php. So now we will open up our HTML tags and uh, the title will be sign up and we will copy this bootstrap links and we will paste it up after the title tag and now in the body tags what we will do is to create a div and this div will have class class will be row and then in this inside this div we will open up another div and this div will also have a class and class will be called minus sm minus 12 so this whole div is our header div for our website name so we will just copy this one from here and we will paste it over here so here is our header for our website and after this div we will open up another div and uh, this div will also have a class class will be row and inside this div we will open up another div and this div will have a class and class will be col minus sm minus 12 inside this div we will open up another div this div will ha also have a class and the class will be main minus main content and inside this main content div we will open up another div and this div will also have a class class will be header and then we will open up a h3 tag and inside this h3 tag we will open up a strong tag and then we will write join coding cafe and after the closing tag of h3 we will add an hr tag and uh, this h3 starting div will have style and uh, let's give it a text align and text line will be center and now over here we will open up another div and uh, this div will have a class class will be l minus part and then we will open up a forum and uh, this forum will have action action will be null and uh, method will be post so inside this forum we will open up a div and this div will have class class will be input input group and then in this div we will open up a span tag and this span tag will have class and class will be input minus group minus add on this is the this is a bootstrap classes the default classes of bootstrap so now we will add a icon okay a bootstrap default icon so for that we will open up a i tag and then inside the i we will add a class and class will be glyco icon and glyco icon and then the minus sign and then p e n c i l so this will display a, an icon like a pencil so after this pen tag we will op we will now add an input type for the first name so its type will be text and uh, we will give it a name and the name will be first underscore name and then we will add a class 
and class will be forum minus control and then its placeholder will be first name and then the end we will type required equals to required so this will be an required input so the user must enter their first name and then at the closing div add a br and now we will just copy this div and paste it down below and we will change the input type name we will just change this first to last underscore name and the glyco icon will be also a pencil for the last name and then we will paste this one more time again and we will change this text to password and this pencil to lock so it will add a lock icon and its name will be u underscore pass means user underscore password and we will paste it one more time again and we will change this to user and then its type will be email and placeholder will be email and remove this name and its name will be u underscore u underscore email not name email and it will be also required input type and now we will paste it one more time again and then we will remove this input type and uh, over here the glyco icon will be Chevron Chevron and then down so it will add a down arrow so after this we will open up a select tag and this selective tag will have a class and class will be forum and then minus control and its name will be u underscore country and then it will be also required and we will now add some options for the country so I add some countries names okay so after the select tag we will add another br we will just paste or oh, not this one we will just uh, copy all of this div and we will paste it down below and we will change the name to u underscore gender and form minus control and then we will add input minus md so its size will be medium not so large and not so small so i just type select your gender and then some option male female and others so after this div we will just copy this div from here and after the gender we will paste it over here and we will change its icon to C A L E N D E R calendar its T A R and then its type will be date and class will be form minus control and its name will be U underscore birth day and after the control form minus control we will add input minus md so now we will give a link so if the user have already have an account so if the user click on that link he will be redirected to the sign in page so for that we will add an a herf and herf will be equals to sign in dot php we will create this in the upcoming tutorials and so we will give this some style and style will be 
we will just remove the text decoration so text decoration will be none and uh, we will so we will just move it to the right side so we will type float and then write and color will be and color will be hashtag one eight seven capital F a B and then we will add a semicolon and data minus toggle will be equals to T W O L T I P. We will now add a tool tip or you can say a title. So if the use so if the user just move the pointer to the link so there will be a pop-up appears and uh, the pop-up will be sign in and then we will close this a tag over here okay so after the closing tag of a we will add two br tags so now we will create a button and the button will appears in the center of the forum so we will open up a center tag and then we will open up a button tag and this button will have id id will be equals to sign up and then class will be btn btn minus info and then we will make this button large so we will type btn minus lg and uh, its name will be sign underscore up and then we will type sign up and after the closing tag of center we will add a php open and closing tag and we will include the we will include a file and the file will be insert underscore user dot php so we will create this file in the next video and then add a semicolon so all of our options are now successfully created so now let's add some style so first thing first we will now we will just add an id to the password div where is the password div and change this to password not first name so over here we will give this an id and id will be password and scroll down a little bit and over here in the email input we will give this an id id will be equals to email and now if we scroll up so after the head tag we will open up a style tag and remove this type equals to whatever so first we will design the body of the page so it's we will just hide the overflow means the scrolling so it will be hidden and then we will design the dot main underscore main underscore content div this one so add a curly brackets so i just pause the video and type all the css so its width is 50% and height 40% 110px r2 and then color ffff and border will be 2px solid e6 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 and then padding 40px 50px and after the main content we will design the header the header div so its border will be 0px solid hashtag and then 000 margin bottom will be 5px so now we will design this well div i mean the header so we already did it in the previous video so we will copy this well from here and we will just paste it down below and after the well we will design the sign up this id equals to sign up button so we will type width will be 60 percent and border radius will be 30 px so we are all done so now we will just save this and let's check it out in our browser 
so if we scroll down over here in the air tag we didn't write anything so we will type already have an account and then question mark so now save this and uh, if we go to our browser and refresh this and if we click on sign up so the form is not at the center we commit a small mistake if you go back and uh, scroll up its ID is main and then the minus sign and then content so remove this underscore and make it minus minus or you can say dash so now save this and if we refresh our browser so now it is now looking perfect so guys this is it for this video and in the next video we will we will store all the users data which we will enter over here we will uh, store that data in the database and if you are new to our channel just then subscribe our channel coding cafe and don't forget to click the bell icon